US stock market is the biggest in the world, but it's not the only one. In this video, we will deep dive in the CAC 40, the Paris stock market, and we will find out which is the best stock on the French stock market. We have an overall situation of undervaluation, 17% of undervaluation based on the calculation of 40 companies inside this uh, index and uh, like in the case of Spain uh, both the biggest company in the market which is LVMH and also the best stock of this market is LVMH. We can understand uh, that, of course, LVMH is um, a conglomerate of brands. And in this case, we have a lot because uh, we have more than 70. The most important is uh, Louis Vuitton, of course, but we also have Moe Chandon, Vov Clicquot. We have many, 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 many. Loro Piana, which is an Italian uh, brand, Marc Jacob, Kenzo, Fendi, Pucci, Dior. The owner of this company is um, a very important guy, Mr. Bernard Arnault with 200 billion. What is very interesting, guys, is that the company is really undervalued at the moment because we have a 53 percentage below the fair value. Talking about solidity, of course, this company is very strong with a low risk on bankruptcy. Very interesting, eight in F score, which is something really good. Of course, they don't they don't manipulate its earnings. And we have a robust, robust feedback from the forecaster because the uh, company started two years ago to decrease the share outstanding. They started to do buybacks. And this is something really interesting, guys, because when a company do buybacks, it means they really think they are undervalued on the market. Purchasing their own stock is something that creates a real value to the shareholder. Sales tell us that the right place for this uh, stock price is here on the top. It's very nice, this tool. I really love it. It was a good idea to put on the chart these, uh, these numbers. Also, the net income tell us that the stock should be here on the top and also the dividend tell us that the stock should be here. So we have a, a, a double confirmation from the calculation of the fair values that tell us that the company is undervalued. Seasonally speaking, we can, of course, add 10 years, 20 years of seasonality, and we can also add 30 years if you want. And if we select all the periods starting from January until the end of December, we can find very interesting statistics because look, guys, these stocks add wonderful performance. 80% in the last five, 80% of time in the last 10 years, this stock went up and 70% of time in the last 20 years, the stock went up with a very interesting average return. We are buying this company at minus 20% from the all time high, which is something really interesting. I don't know if you use a technical analysis, but if we draw a line here, we can find a really strong support in this area. So this means that this company on the stock market can now, of course, go a little bit more down, but this area will be a huge buy area, a huge accumulation area. And I really think that this company can skyrocket in the future. If you like this video, it's an extract of the weekly webinar we do thanks to the Forecaster Terminal. You can sign up if you would like to join the webinar for free. You can find the link in the description. Also in the description, you can find the Forecaster Terminal link. You can try the software for free for seven days. See you in the next video.